Now the next topic of the session is about the slope of a straight line. Now that we have understood a straight line being a linear equation in two variables x and y, now next comes the understanding of slope of a straight line. So what is a slope in general sense? Slope in general sense is understood as the steepness which is the other name for slope in the English context of the dictionary. So when I say the slope, it is the steepness of the given concept. Say for example, I say slope of a straight line is nothing but the steepness of a straight line along the ground. So to come out with a real life example, let's come with a slider. Say for example, I take a slider, which there are two types of sliders I consider here. One of the slider, is this is the ground and this is the slider say this is the slider slider 1 which I have considered here and in this case let me consider the slider 2 And this is considered to be the slider 2. Now, as we can clearly see from these two sliders, which of the slider is more steeper is the question out here. We can clearly see that this is more steeper than this. Mathematically, what makes us understand that this slider has more slope or is more steeper than this slider is how we understand the slope in general sense connected with mathematics. In mathematics, we say that this slider is more steeper than this slider, that is the slider 2 is more steeper than the slider 1 based on the angle which it makes with the ground. Say for example, this makes an angle theta 1 and this makes an angle theta 2, then clearly I see that this angle is greater than this because this is raised at a more steeper height. So this makes more angle and this makes lesser angle because this is tending towards the ground and this is moving away from the ground is how we understand. Therefore, since theta 1 is less than theta 2, that implies slider 2 is more steeper than slider 1 is how we connect the angle with the slope or steepness of a given straight line or a slider. So in similar manners, if I consider the slider to be a straight line on an xy coordinate system, then more the steeper, more is the slope or more the angle made with respect to x axis. We say more is the steeper or more is the slope of the given straight line is how we connect the slider with a straight line in mathematics. So since here theta 1 is less than theta 2 implies slider 2 is more steeper than slider 1 and hence its slope is how we understand in the real life imagination. So hence with the concept of slope understood with respect to a slider then in this case we mathematically derive the formula for a slider. So we have a mathematical formula for a slope defined as change in y by change in x. That is, as the x coordinates, y coordinates change, even the respect to x coordinates change, then the difference of y coordinates by the change or the difference of x coordinates will define the slope. So slope is defined as change in y by change in x is how we understand mathematically the slope of a straight line. Next. So therefore, if I have 
two lines. I have a line with two points A and B connected where the coordinates of A are x1, y1 and the coordinates of B are x2, y2. Then my change in y would be y2 minus y1 and change in x would be x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 respectively. Therefore, for a slope of this straight line, using the formula of slope would nothing be change in y, which is y2 minus y1 by change in x, as I can see with the formula is x2 minus x1 is how we connect the slope with the coordinates as the formula. So therefore, when I have two coordinates given, I can find the slope of the straight line using this formula is how we would understand the slope using the coordinates. So let's see an example problem where we find the slope for a given line passing through two different points. So let's find the slope of a straight line. Say for example, I have a straight line passing through two points P which is 2, 3 and Q which is 4, 5. Now how do I find the slope of this line segment PQ? So as we know that if I assume the first coordinate as x1 and y1 and my second coordinate as x2 and y2, then the slope of a straight line joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by slope generally denoted by m is given by the formula change in y by change in x is what is the derived formula so that on substitution of y2 and y1 this reduces to 5 minus 3 by x2 which is 4 and x1 so 4 minus 2 comes in the denominator. This is how we substitute the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2 correspondingly to find the slope using this formula. So on further simplification this reduces to 5 minus 3 which is 2 and 4 minus 2 which is 2 which on cancellation gives me 1. Therefore the slope of a straight line joining P and Q is said to be 1. That is the slope of this straight line is said to be 1 using the formula. Is how we understand the slope of line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now let's see how the slope is connected with angle as we revisit with the example problem of a slider we have seen that more the angle made by the slider more is the steepness and hence the angle. Therefore they are directly proportional where lesser the angle lesser is the steepness and less is the slope of that given slider or a straight line. So to come with this how do we understand the formula connecting the slope and the angle. So this has to be done through a derivation on an xy coordinate system. So let's consider an xy coordinate system with x axis, y axis and origin. Now from this let me take an angle, let me take a straight line in this xy coordinate system making an angle theta because I have to connect slope with theta. So let me assume that that line makes an angle theta with the x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction. So if I take the straight line say so L is the straight line which makes an angle theta in with x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction. So let's consider two coordinates A and B on the line L. So the point A which is here is with coordinates x1 and y1 and the point B with coordinates x2 comma y2 is on the line L here. Now I wanted to find the slope connected with the angle theta which is making with x axis. So therefore in order to do that let me drop a perpendicular on A and on B onto x axis here. And let's drop a perpendicular from A onto this. So let me take this as C, D and E is how we get the diagram 
when I drop the perpendiculars respectively from A and B and A onto E. Now from this, clearly what would be the length A is the biggest question here. So in this case, now because I drop a perpendicular here, this X coordinate will be nothing but the distance from O to D. And similarly, because the distance from O to C is nothing but the X coordinate of B which is X2, therefore this on the whole is X2 so that this and this are equal and OC is nothing but OC minus OD gives me DC. As I clearly see here, my DC is OC minus OD. When I subtract, I get DC. Therefore, OC being X2, X2 minus X1 is DC, which indirectly is A. So this comes out to be X2 minus X1 which is also x2 minus x1 here because this is OC minus OD is DC equal to A is how we understand geometrically this part. Similarly, when I drop the perpendiculars onto y axis, the same concept arises here where if I wanted to find the length BE is nothing but the whole of BC is nothing but the y coordinate of this which is y2 and the y coordinate of this which is this is y1 and therefore BE is nothing but BC minus EC is BE but because this is equal to this y2 minus y1 is this which is equal to this. So this BE would be equal to the whole of y2 minus y1 which gives me y2 minus y1 as the measurement. So I get this to be y2 minus y1 and this to be x2 minus x1 in a right angle triangle A, E, B. Now because this is theta, this will also be theta because these two lines are parallel. Therefore, these two are the corresponding angles. So two corresponding angles are always equal in, two, in the pair of parallel lines. Now since the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal and therefore this being theta, this will also be theta. Now if I take this diagram separately as a right angle triangle, I clearly understand that the triangle with measurements, let me take this AEB as taken here, AEB is a right angle triangle as can be taken from here. Now in this right angle triangle AEB, the angle here is theta and this is x2 minus x1 and this is y2 minus y1 is what we get here. Now from this, we know that in a right angle triangle, if we revisit the trigonometry concept, tan theta is opposite by adjacent. Therefore, using tan theta, I get tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Therefore, my opposite side to angle theta is exactly EB, which is y2 minus y1. Therefore, I get this as y2 minus y1. And my adjacent side, which is this, is x2 minus x1, which on substitution gives x2 minus x1. Therefore, tan theta is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. But we have already derived the formula for slope, which is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, or change in y by change in x. Therefore, if I just connect this with the slope, I assume that my slope is nothing but the tan theta or this. Therefore, my conclusion comes that the final conclusion is that the slope m, which I generally denote for the slope, is nothing but tangent of the angle theta which is made with x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction and nothing but this. So this is how I obtain the formula for slope using angle. If I know the angle, I use this formula. If I know the coordinates, I use this formula respectively, depending on the conditions given in finding the slope. But the slope is tan theta or change in y by change in x. So this is how the slope and theta are connected. 
slope is tangent of the angle made by the line with x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction, this being the angle.